Is the OG Carrick any good in Modern Warfare 3? Well, here's the configuration that I tested. And here are the basic numbers. You get a one shot only to the head at 161 damage. The handling though is fairly good in terms of mobility at least with a 6.8 meters per second tactical sprint. That's equivalent to the longbow. The ADS speed is 463 milliseconds. Rate of fire, 187 and a half rounds per minute with an effective damage range of roughly 32 meters. So how does that compare against Modern Warfare 3 weapons? If you're going to answer the question if the Carrick is any good, any good, then you need to say any good compared to what? And that would be other sniper rifles in Modern Warfare 3 since the Carrick is a sniper rifle. And when you take a look, there are no sniper rifles that compare to the Carrick or the Carrick doesn't compare to them because of the low damage in the upper torso. So I compared it to the KVD Enforcer. You can see the damage is similar. One shot to the head, two shots everywhere else. Uh, for the for the Carrick, for the KVD, you'd need an extra shot or damage for the lower torso and the upper legs. But both are one shot to the head and nowhere else. So it sounds kind of weak for a sniper rifle, spot on for a marksman rifle like the KVD Enforcer. So there are other statistics that we can compare. For example, you have range and fire rate. So I decided to also take a look at those. And for the Carrick, the range is 32 meters, just over 32 meters. The KVD Enforcer, a marksman rifle, actually has a much longer range, almost double at 58.3. Minimum damage range being almost exactly the same. Bullet velocity, very, very similar. But the rate of fire, the KVD Enforcer, puts out rounds much faster than the Carrick at 200 and roughly 31 rounds per minute versus 187 and a half for the Carrick. So you'd expect that. A marksman rifle is going to put out rounds faster than a sniper rifle for the most part. So, so far I don't see anything in the Carrick that would cause me to select it hands down as a sniper rifle. So I looked at mobility, maybe there's something there. And the Carrick is pretty quick in terms of mobility. The movement speed not quite as fast as the Enforcer, but the crouch movement speed, the sprint speed, the tactical sprint speed are all slightly better than the Enforcer, almost the same. It's the ADS movement speed that the Enforcer is the best as with handling aim down sight is more than twice as good with the KVD Enforcer. So not only do you have a low damage sniper rifle in the in the Carrick compared to other sniper rifles it's roughly the same as a marksman rifle but you also have a much slower a, uh, ADS, which is key to getting on target quickly, especially if you're doing some quick scoping. So, in its current incarnation, it looks like the Carrick might have been left behind. It's a relic of Modern Warfare 2. It's been allowed to rust. Weeds have grown up around it. And it's just in my opinion not a viable weapon in modern warfare 3 some of the other weapons are for example the fjx imperium is an excellent sniper in modern warfare 3 as well as it was in modern warfare 2 but the carrick hadn't been shown any love it's like grandpa newbie when he's been left alone he tends to rust a little bit Got to show them some love and oil them up. And I feel that Activision just hasn't done that. So I would not choose the Carrick 
at all. I wouldn't build a class. I don't see any reason and any challenges to use it over other snipers that are available, such as the Longbow, the Stalker, the Imperium. Really, uh, if you want a Longbow type weapon, you choose the Longbow. You can see every time you shoot, you're going to pull the trigger at least twice because there's no telling whether you hit the head, missed entirely, hit the upper torso, it's going to take two shots, lower torso, thank heaven, it only takes two shots, and upper legs. But you're always pulling the trigger when you're shooting this particular sniper. And the f quicker fire rate than the other sniper rifles does not make up for the lower damage in the upper torso. And in some cases, sniper rifles in Modern Warfare 3 are also one-shot kills to the lower torso. So when it comes to the Carrick, I just say no. Unfortunately, I'd like to see maybe it gets some love. It gets updated for Modern Warfare 3. But this relic has been left behind. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Helps me, helps the family. These videos take a bit of work to put together. Not complaining. I enjoy interacting with you. Leave a comment. I look at every single comment. Respond in some way to every comment, whether it's a thumbs up, a heart, or a response. So cheers and peace to you.